Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to divide unit fractions by whole numbers. And we have two examples here that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Again, unit fractions divided by whole numbers. And when I say unit fractions, that just means a fraction that has to have a numerator of one. So let's jump into number one, where we have one third divided by five. So essentially, we're starting with one third, which is a fraction less than a whole, and we're splitting or dividing it into five equal groups. So we're going to end up with the fraction smaller in value than what we started with, one third. So when dividing fractions, we have three words to keep in mind. Keep, switch, and flip. Always in that order. Keep, switch, flip. So let's talk about what that means. We have our original problem, 1 third divided by 5. We are going to rewrite this problem as a multiplication problem. So we do that by keeping the first fraction or whole number. Whatever the case may be, when we're dividing fractions, you always keep that first fraction or number. Then we switch the division sign to a multiplication sign. So we're switching to a multiplication problem. Now since we switched to the opposite of a division problem and changed it to multiplication, we need to flip that second fraction or number in order to keep this problem equivalent and give us the correct answer. So let's flip it. Well, how do we flip a whole number five? Well, we need to create a fraction out of that whole number and you can put any whole number over one and make it into a fraction. So we need to flip and the one is going to be our numerator or top number and the five is going to be our denominator or bottom number. So we get one fifth. Again, keep switch, and flip. Now we can multiply straight across. 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 5 is 15, and that's the answer to our original problem, 1 third divided by 5. So each one of those five groups has a value of 1 15th after we split 1 third into those five equal groups. So let's do number 2 here, where we have 1 sixth divided by 4. So keep, switch, and remember we can put any whole number over one to put it into fractional form. So now we can flip here and we have one fourth. One times one is one, six times four is 24. So we get one twenty-fourth. We started with one sixth a fraction less than a whole, and we split it into four equal groups, and each of those groups has a value of 1 24th. So there you have it. There's how you divide unit fractions by whole numbers. I have a handful of other videos that involve um, fractions within division problems, both with models and like this video without models. I dropped all of the links down in the description. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.